One of the most dramatic events in New York City in the 1960s was the construction of the World Trade Center. Design and construction would take years and the efforts of thousands of people. A project of this size created enormous challenges. Challenges that demanded the use of dramatic new engineering concepts. Final plans called for a complex of low-level buildings surrounding two 1,350-foot towers, the tallest ever built. Their great height was made possible by the use of load-bearing walls. Extremely tall buildings were traditionally inefficient since huge amounts of interior space were taken up by structural supports and elevators. The Trade Center towers would overcome this problem. The exterior walls were designed to bear much of the weight of the towers, as well as all of the wind loads. The only internal supports would be in a central core of columns. Elevators would be placed in the shafts formed by the core columns. These engineering considerations determine the tower's basic design sheer symmetrical walls rising without setbacks. For its many engineering innovations, the Trade Center was cited as the outstanding engineering achievement of 1971. throughout. Low humidity, really a splendid September day. The afternoon temperature about 80 degrees, great weather for the primary election. Tonight, clear and cool, low 60 and It's begun to sound like some sort of a cliche, but really, September 11th started out like every other day. 103.5 KTU, the beat of New York. Good morning. Martell's on your feel-good radio station. We're waking up with Whoopi in less than a half hour from right now, and JoJo, too little, too late. Do you have any idea where you're headed? No. People in coach think it's a routine emergency. We've asked for a doctor, but none's on board. Can you tell us anything more about the hijackers? Yes. They have knives and mace. They say they have a bomb. Okay. How are the people who were stabbed? One flight attendant's okay. I'm not sure. The other may not make it. Oh, my God! Something's wrong here! What's happening? A Amy, are you still there? We're in rapid descent. We're all over the place. Can you look out the window and tell us where you are? I see water, buildings. We're flying low. We're flying very, very low. We are flying way too low. Oh my God, we are.
If you're just joining us this morning, uh, you're in for a, a horrific surprise. Rescue crews are uh, making their way to the scene, and all of this unfolding in one of the busiest places in the world, in downtown Manhattan. How fast he's no, going. He's going right up the Hudson River Center. Oh my god. Both towers of the World Trade Center have been hit by aircraft. Both are in flames. Both uh, suffered explosions. There is uh, black smoke coming from both of the towers. Uh, it's a horrific scene here. There's um, debris flying through the air over the East River here into Brooklyn. Uh, what appears to be we're just getting word now. One of the two planes was hijacked after takeoff from Boston. This is two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. Trade Center appears to be on fire.